Again, oh, yeah, yeah, from the lands. Fam, just so you know, uh, we're already starting to feel the effects of Mercury retrograde shadow period, okay? So um, keep that in mind as well uh, with your, be patient with your technology, with your phone, with the driving, with the servicing your car and all this stuff right now is going to be really important. Okay. You could already be starting to see the effects of that. I'm recording all of a sudden my laptop just went black. So, uh, for no reason whatsoever, it just, that never happens. Okay. And now I'm going to have to edit the video and it's going to be a thing. So, we have manifestation here for the divine. Ma they're, <laughs> I'm telling you, they're manifesting. They're manifesting intimacy. Okay, this is what they want. Right here, we have three very important chakras for manifesting. Okay, we have the heart. The heart is a magnet. We have the heart chakra for love, abundance. Okay, we have the, the solar plexus chakra for your personal power, your inner peace your gut feeling, your confidence, your, your self-esteem, your self-worth, okay, it comes from the solar, which we need that to manifest, and sacral, creative center, okay, our, our sensuality, how we take care of ourselves, okay, our sexuality, sensuality, it's in the womb area, your sexual chakra, your creative, where we create from, all in harmony, in balance, okay? So this person here really is opening up to love, all turning in the same direction. We have the eight here, the infinity symbol, okay? Being cleared, being balanced, finding this, your center, finding your center, coming back home to yourself, inner peace, clearing. This, uh, the, the sacral is your chakra of emotions as well, where we store a lot of our traumas, addictions, codependencies come from there. Okay. It is, um, our, uh, sexuality, sensuality, how we honor and nurture ourselves comes from there as well. This is a self-love chakra, the heart chakra. We really, it's where we open ourselves up. The sacral is our relationship chakra as well. So very important, lots of hearts surrounding this person. So this person closes their eyes and they feel you know, the feelings of love. It's like this. I'm, I'm hearing this person saying, I long ago shut down those parts of me that want to love intimacy and romance, but you make me long for those things again. Right? So again, we're getting somebody here in daydreamy energy. Um, now wanting to connect, wanting to connect, wanting to resolve somebody maturing, wanting to connect, wanting to resolve conflict, wanting to restore the deeper intimacy. We're not just talking about the physical. We're talking about the emotional as well, right? The, the, the all the different ways that you can exp experience intimacy with another person, intellectual, mental, physical, spiritual. Okay. So, all right, let's see for the divine feminine maturing. I love this. <laughs> Let's see the divine feminine here. Spirit commitment here for the divine feminine. Wow. The distorted feminine coming out again more than once. I, I posted a video already on YouTube that I read from the book. So if you're interested in getting the message, okay. Um, it's, it's, this could be something that's being triggered or healed, or this could be somebody in your energy or somebody in the energy of this person. Okay. So take it how it resonates. I also posted it on Instagram as well. We have the divine masculine boundaries needing to set boundaries. I'm getting somebody here in luminosity energy. That's self-worth energy, which is that's more divine feminine energy, which is not distorted feminine energy. Okay. So that's why I'm getting here that, you know, you could be healing the distorted feminine energy within you by setting boundaries with the divine masculine, you know, by stick standing, you know, stay standing your ground, not backing down and standing up, holding your vision. Cause the Holy spirit said, when you hold your vision for what you're trying to create a manifest for yourself, right? That's how focused intention. 
without wavering. Doesn't matter how much you love somebody, right? No matter how much you love somebody, this person here could be visualizing, having memories of times that you were intimate, right? And it's helping to open their heart. Um, visualizing what you deserve and what, and sticking to it, you know, knowing what you want and sticking to it feeling this, 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 this energy of, I do deserve love. I do deserve stability, security, com companions to support partnership, right? To be valued, to be treasured, to be cherished, to be adored. I deserve that. And I'm sticking to that. I'm not just going to be lusted after. I'm not going to entertain people that come in and out of my life, right? And distorted energy. So, all right, let's get one more here for the divine feminine spirit, please. We have chivalry. There you go. There you go. That actually came out for the Aquarius Collective as well. Because we have healed the distorted feminine within us. We're not accepting less than what we deserve. Right? Look, we have sexual freedom here. That came out as serendipity, leaving things to chance, and um, allowing for the universe to orchestrate and bring it all together. This is how sacred woman self-respect here. You want to, you want deep connection. You want deep connection. Okay. You want to resolve the conflict. You're open to it. You want deep connection. You want respect the sacred woman. Okay. And, and you're feeling at peace. You're in this energy of acceptance. You're in this energy of you. You don't have to overextend, overgive, trying to prove your worth to anybody. You are enough just as you are. You're feeding your soul right now. And you're just letting the universe, leaving things to chance, letting the universe, you know, um, align things for you. That's right for you. That's meant for you. And here it comes. Somebody's coming, wants to court you for commitment, wants to court you for marriage, wants to bring in, you know, um, a beautiful, right? Offer of, of commitment here to you. Flowers. This person is riding in on their horse with flat, with flowers, acts of service, gift giving all the five love languages, this per quality time, you know, being a witness to each other's lives here. Well, I'm so, so intrigued by this reading already. Where's the other deck? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let me see here. This divine masculine, I'm going to put this deck down unless I'm guided to it. Let's see the divine masculine. It's energy right now, spirit. New start is coming for this divine masculine. Spiritual maturity. Wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, you want to experience, right? The feelings of falling in love with somebody with the, you know, with the spending time together, with the dating, with the wanting to do kind, generous, thoughtful, you know, things for each other, right? Um, pouring into each other equally, reciprocal energy. It's what you deserve. You want to move at a, at a decent pace, not too fast, not too slow, but at a, a normal pace of what it takes to build a solid foundation. Show me here the divine masculine. Looking at the bigger picture, Sagittarius energy here. Taking a step back. Right. And uh, zooming out, not paying, not being too close. We could be talking about somebody here that's uh, hyper focused on the details of everything. And, um, with Sagittarius energy being here, it's like this person could be looking for answers, searching for answers, you know, and, um, trying to <laughs> focus on every little thing when, you know, it feels like this person is going through some kind of, uh, epiphany or breakthrough. I'm, I'm, ge I'm getting this person with their eyes closed, being heavily guided here, right? There's a bigger picture here. The answers is coming for this person. There's a lot of healing that's taking place when it comes to their fears. It feels like this person is transmuting and alchemizing energy coming out of fear and into love. Seeing the fear is only an illusion. Everything that this person wants is on the outside of their panic attacks, their anxiety, their fears, their playing it safe energy. 
We have here Scorpio energy, this new moon in Scorpio we just had could have been super significant. We are in Scorpio season right now. We have Gemini energy, Sagittarius energy coming in so far. Can I have one for the divine feminine? You're very close to achieving your goal. Hold the course, hold the focus, focused intention. What else? The divine feminine emotions are running high right now. Sit with them, honor them, embrace it. Okay. What's coming up for you here at this time? So emotions, super moon energy. I think we are approaching the full moon here soon. That's a lot of sacral energy here for you as well. The emotions has a message for you, okay? Lean into it. Allow yourself to feel what's coming up. Don't deny it, resist it, bury it. Embrace it and honor it, okay? Whatever these emotions are, come back to center, go into meditation, breathe through it. We're going to find out once I, I get into Tara, what else uh, about this energy. All right, show me the divine masculine's energy spirit right now, please. This person, it's so interesting because the 1111 is a huge manifestation portal. And that's what this person here is manifesting. This person is manifesting right now closeness, okay? Deeper intimacy. Feels like that's what's missing for them in their life. It's like a huge love drought for this person. Okay, they're manifesting. Again, closeness. I keep, that's what I keep hearing. Having love in their life, you know, feeling the feelings of love. Yeah, as I said that, there's the Ace of Wands. Going through what there's Scorpio energy, heavy Scorpio energy here, double Scorpio energy, five of cups and death and rebirth. So releasing the past, okay, and, and, and embracing a new start, a new beginning, a new passion, a new beginning for this person. All right. Let's see what else here for, um, you know, Scorpio season is that season, right? That it's the underworld, right? Where a lot of the stuff is okay, the buried stuff that's been in the shadows. Okay. It's coming up for healing. We did see it's time for healing for this, for this masculine. We're seeing, you know, water, Scorpio is a water sign emotions, deep emotions. Okay. Coming up to the surface for both of you guys, it is, you know, a, a sign of deeper intimacy and closeness as well. Right. And deep love. And, uh, oh my, my, my uh, left ear just started ringing as I was saying that. Can I have, uh, the show me the divine masculine's energy. Yeah, we have the nine of wands, the not, not giving up, not letting go, persevering, pushing through a lot of spiritual lessons. This person is almost there, just like you're almost there. This is the goal. They're not giving up. Oh my goodness. They're not giving up here. Want the shivery. Here's the flowers there. Here's the flowers there right? Two masculines holding a bouquet of flowers. I don't know if this person has ever given you anything. I don't know if this person has ever given you a gift, has ever given you flowers, has ever shown you how much they care about you by to small tokens of appreciation. Could be anything small, okay? I don't know if this person has ever bought you a gift or not, you know? And over here, we have now they want to be, now they want to spoil you, and now they want to be romantic, now they want to give you writing poems, letters. Okay. There's a, a bottle of wine picnic. It's interesting. They have, there's a horse here. There's a horse here. Very symbolic to freedom. Right. Um, yeah, look, this person here is, is deeply in love. Okay. And it's mutual Two of cups. 
Knight of Cups coming into trying to figure out, yeah, deeply in love. They're lost in their in their feelings of manifestation. Eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed. This person's in love. They're aligning with the frequency of love. They're daydreaming about love. Okay. Yes, there's a sense of procrastination here. A lot of fantasy, a lot of daydreaming. It feels like this person wants to bring their dreams down to reality now. Wants to take action in the physical world. Cups, 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 cups. My God. That's a lot of love, fam. A lot of emotion. A lot of, uh, again, it is Scorpio season. Scorpio energy right there again. Okay, feeling all of the feels, daydreaming, fantasizing, trying to figure out which way is the best way here, all the different ways that they want to court you, chivalry here, all the different ways that they want to love you, okay, exploring all their different options on, uh, you know, making future plans, I heard, all the places that they want to take you to and explore with you, so, um, Again, we just have a little, this is a uh, moon and Sagittarius, by the way, we have a double Sagittarius energy here. Yeah, this person is still integrating, resting and healing. This person is tired. Okay. Integrating, resting, healing here. Healing their heart, opening their heart. There's still a period of time out as they are. Again, we saw the seven of cups right? It's an energy of still in this daydreamy energy of manifesting, okay? Visualizing. What else is divine masculine? We have the queen of pentacles here. Feminine energy. Let's see. Nine of wands. Ten of cups. This is, this is the plan, right? This is the plan to get to the Ten of Cups, complete and total emotional fulfillment. Not giving up on that vision. Not giving up on the plan. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yep. This is the plan. This is the plan. Don't give up on me, I heard. I'm not giving up on us. I have moving, transitioning, okay? Moving towards the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, an equal give and take, courting energy, shivery energy, leaving the past behind, moving to karma, waters, tranquil seas. Yes, family, beautiful. Moving to karma, waters, to tranquil seas here, moving towards a brand new beginning, coming in with to offer the, the holding the pentacle that's coming in. They know that they're going to need to drop their guard to open themselves up to this big love. They're manifesting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love here with the Empress, the Divine Feminine. Four of Swords. Yeah. After this period of rest, retreating to rest, it feels like they're coming close to the ending of a healing cycle. Okay. After this period of rest, things are going to move pretty fast with communication. Okay. Again, this person is right now, we saw a time for healing. They're resting. They're, they're praying. They're thinking they're integrating. That's what it feels like. Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, Death, Five of Cups. Yeah. They're ending, they're ending, um, a situation in their life that they have completely emotionally detached and disconnected from already. Okay. And, uh, see there's sadness, uh, you know, because it's time, every time that we end something, it's never easy. You know, there's always some sadness. It's not that this person that they're leaving behind is a bad person. Okay. Not saying that it's just saying that it have ran, it ran its course. Okay. It ran its course. It served its purpose. It wasn't meant to be life for life. It was always meant to be for a season, a reason and season. Okay. It's just like, it feels like there's no emotional attachment there anymore. You know, if this person is working on changing their focus here with the five of cups, it's just one of those things, right? That 
eventually it gets to that monotonous, that routine, that, you know, the passion is gone. There's no, it, it, but when it's not like a mind, body, soul, and spirit connection, eventually it dies. It fades. It, it phases out. It ends. You're like roommates now. You're, you're, you're like friends more than you are. There's no passion. There's no love deep love there's like a friendship kind of love you know I, I appreciate you for being you know the parent of my children or I appreciate the time we had I, I respect you for that you know um but it's like and there's nothing else and this person that wants intimacy this person wants passion and love they deserve it they are worthy of it everyone is okay and it's like <laughs> where they are, it's just not, you know, they're, they're unhappy. They're depressed. You know, they're, they're lacking emotion, emotional fulfillment. They're lacking love. Okay. They're, they're feeling sad. They're feeling, and that's what, you know, this, uh, they're going to get, it's interesting. The answers you need are coming. It's like they're in this prayer meditation and healing that they're in. They're going to get some kind of an epiphany. And that's what's going to move this person forward here. Okay. Uh, faster. It's like the, it is the end of delays. I'm getting coming out of hanged man energy. Very strongly. It is the end of delays. Tell me about this uh, king of. I'm also getting here. This person is ending a situation with somebody. They see you as their queen of pentacles. They see you as somebody that they can spend their life with power couple energy that they can build and grow with somebody nurturing somebody that is a good you know could be a good wife good mother so somebody that is successful and practical and grounded and stable safe place to land is what i heard a safe place to land tell me about this king of swords clarify this divine mask all truth will be revealed the answer, that's coming out a lot lately. Every time I use this deck, this card flies out. The answers you need are coming. All truth is being, this person is no longer in denial. All truth is being revealed. They're no longer, you know, they're coming out of denial, this person, okay? Denying their love, bearing their love, denying how they feel. They're accepting it. Surrender. Yeah, false mask. Pretending. No more pretending. It's harder. It hurts more. It hurts more to resist. It's more painful. This person is, there's something missing and that's lacking in this person's life and they're getting clear on what it is, okay? And, and moving towards it. What else for this king of swords? Still working on it. There's the torch, family. <laughs> there's the torch. It's still lit. I'm not giving up. Still working on it. What else for this king of swords? they're struggling right now they're they are in the process they will overcome it that's this uh they're maturing it's a slow process this five of cups struggling to overcome self-imposed limiting beliefs but they are transforming they're going through a rebirth it takes time okay they are going through an enlightenment here and they will overcome it with this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is seizing the opportunity. It's a very instinctual card of moving fast. It has been slow for this person. This is no ordinary love. So you guys may have different cultures, different races, different age, religion, background. Um, there's something very different, but yet opposites attract, I heard. But also this is a spiritual love. It's not your basic, superficial, you know, 3D type of love, right? This is special. Yeah, hearts that speak the same language. Even though there is some differences, your souls are the same. Your heart and soul is the same. Yeah, there's this person has clear bound. You have clear boundaries with this person. And they will come in correct. Whenever they are, uh, they get their clarity, whenever they get their epiphany, whenever they feel, you know, that they have, they're coming out of this healing cycle. You are my lifeline. I can't lose you. They're going to rush in a sense of urgency. 
okay, to stop you from moving on here, okay? This is still being worked on. They're coming in with an offer of stability, okay? It could be here that you're not budging. You have a boundary around 10 of, 10 of cups that if this person doesn't equal give and receive, you're out of there. You're moving to who will. We said that in the beginning of the reading, okay? There's clear boundaries here with this person. Fairy tales do exist. So if you believe in the impossible, the unexpected, right? It'll come. If you believe, I believe, right? That fairy tales do exist, okay? And it is here for you. It's in the energy already. So hold the course, hold your vision, have faith in your dreams, okay? That you will, you know, that the love of your life, your true love is already here with you. It's already manifested. All right. They are watching before, before making, yeah, wow, look at that. Look at that. They're going through some kind of karmic ending in their life, okay? A painful one at that. Hard, making hard, difficult decisions. Not sacrificing themselves anymore, okay? Because they fell in love. Their heart is opening to love and it's guiding them to you. They, they want intimacy, okay? Going back and forth, two different extremes here, okay? Going through the changes, the waves of change. Because now that they're clear. So it's like now that we're clear... Now that we're clear, what's to come will be clear too. Now that we're clear, we're no longer in denial. We're going to have to make these changes, right? These ch that's what comes after the heart. When the heart is open, the heart is clear. Our clear guidance, our clarity, our clear messages, the answers is in the heart area, not in the mind. And once the heart opens, right, we have clarity. And once that comes, right, then change follows, okay? Because it's like... Now that I have fully accepted, this is what it is. This is how I feel. I'm seeing things clearly. All truth is being revealed. I have no other options but to make this change, right? That's the only option. The only option I have is to accept what my heart is telling me. The heart wants what it wants. And the more I fight it, the more I resist it, the more I try to bury it, the more I try to deny it, the, more, the harder it is, the more painful five of cups it is. It's clear what I got to do now. Now, sometimes people don't want to accept it, don't want to accept the truth because they know that if they do, what comes next is, you know, they're going to be challenged to step into their truth. They're going to be challenged. It's like, it's like this. It's like if somebody feels like they can't be with somebody that they want to be with, if somebody feels like I can't be in love with this person because I just can't, because I, I, I you know, uh, it's forbidden or I can't be with this person or they think that right. Self-imposed limiting beliefs. They think that, so they don't admit it. They deny the love, but the second, because they know the second that they admit it and they say it out loud, it's too real. And, and change comes right after that because now we're clear with the universe because we're, we're not in the, we're not pushing it away. We're not in resistance. We're, we're the second that we're clear surrender comes next. It's like the second you accept it. So everything shifts. The second you accept what your heart's telling you, everything shifts. The energy shifts. So, and then we have the page of swords. This person is, you know, being guided here. Right by their angels to research, to learn, to seek out answers. Okay, they're seeking out the truth and they're finding it. All truth is revealed. This person is seeking out the truth and finding it. About, you know, trying to find the meaning of life, their purpose, the meaning of this connection, trying to understand it, trying to come home to themselves, trying to find themselves. Okay, so... um. Yes. Let's see the divine feminine. Show me the divine feminine's energy. You're tired. Rest up. You've been working hard. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Ten of Wands. There's an opportunity coming in. 
there could be some emotions coming up for you, repressed, suppressed, so you're being asked to sit with it. Okay? Ten of Pentacles. This is um, working hard to build your legacy, your empire. Okay, is what I'm getting. Ten of Pentacles here is financial security, stability, marriage, family, generational wealth. Is a culmination. Wow, I'm getting, you're getting to it. Ten, ten here. You're reaching the, yeah, you're very close to achieving your goal. This is your goal. You're getting there. You're almost there. You're almost there to your Ten of Pentacles. You're almost there. Okay. Whatever's going on here in your feelings, if you're feeling bored, apathy, discontent, sadness, whatever the emotions are that are coming in here for you, just know that sit with it, meditate. This could be this, um, this cup coming in could be this shivery, this offer coming in here, this commitment coming in here for you. Okay. You're almost there. Be patient with your process. Ten of Pentacles. Yep, here they come. Can't make this stuff up. Look what just jumped. Shivery. Coming in with this offer. Look. Yes, this is what's happening. Coming in here. Prepare for change. Stay open to receiving. You have a wish coming in. Prepare for change. Things that you're getting a victory. Things are moving forward. Okay. Towards success, towards a victory. Okay, things are balancing out. Your patience is paying off. Here comes twin flame reunion and reconciliation. Here's your offer. There's the offer. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. There's your new beginning here. In love, you master this energy of law of attraction, of letting go and surrendering and focusing on you, on your self-love, on your self-care on your own, you know, well-being. That's the energy. That is the energy, okay? Prepare for change. Stay open to receiving. Things are balancing out. You're getting your wish. Victory is yours. Here comes reconciliation, mending, reunion. Yes. Ten of Wands. It's the end of this burdensome cycle of you doing life by yourself. Okay? Solo's journey. You're very close to achieving your goal. Okay? Here comes the your divine counterpart. In love with you. In love with you. Four of Cups. Yeah. Here comes the offer. It's going to be in page energy, page energy, night energy, but this is the be infancy stages, the beginning stages of our starting the dating process, right? Of reaching the, the, the commitment levels, okay? So you're going to have a decision to make with the seven of cups. There is some kind of fantasy, some kind of dream here that is materializing, that's grounding. It's going to happen fast. It's your dream come true your wish here right here the freedom you're leaving it to chance and it's manifesting because you finally accepted things as is and you came into peace with it you let go and let god and you started focusing on you on you right on, on reading studying finding your center and now it's coming in the universal alignment here a dream come true because you never lost hope and faith. Here it is. Let's get for the divine feminine. Yeah. Building this person wants to start from the bottom up. Build the trust from the bottom up. They want to start clean slate. They want to start fresh with you. As if getting to know you all over again. Witnessing, being a witness to each other's lives. Show me the Divine Feminine. This Knight of Cups here in the Divine Feminine's energy. Hard to say goodbye. You're my lifeline. I can't lose you. Can't let you go. So I'm just going to just surrender. I'm just going to surrender. Karma's at work here. This is, this, this is meant 
This is this Dustin and Faded, okay? Karma's at work here. It's just so it's just so if you make it that way, then it is. If you just choose peace and to surrender and to let go, it's it's easier that way. We have the nine of wands here, ten of wands here. You almost can't, you reach your limit. You reach your limit. Your emotions are running high. But it's exactly the eleventh hour. It's exactly when you finally surrender and you choose peace here. Right, and you focus on yourself is when it comes. This person is now ready to take control and lead in your in your connection. Okay, we are divine counterparts. They're releasing the false mask and and revealing their true feelings for you here. Very clear message today. Again, these readings are becoming more and more clear, and because of that, shorter and shorter and shorter, because we're clear. There's no confusion with how we feel. There's no denying it, okay, and uh, anymore. And, and that's very symbolic to the obstacles being removed. The way forward is open. Very symbolic to that, right, to, of, of how less and less complicated it's getting, you know, uh, because we're finally stopping resisting. The resistance is too much, too, too much. I'm going to leave it right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to try to get some rest today, fam. I got some housework to do, some meditating to do. Today is the day to hop into meditation and do your 11-11, uh, right? Um, manifestations, okay? What you think, feel, and believe today is what's going to manifest. Write down your intentions today, okay? Pray on it. Manifest. Meta visualize daydream like this divine masculine is doing. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy 11 11. Happy Monday. God bless you. Namaste. <laughs> Prepare for this. <laughs> I love you guys.